is a solemn but a glorious hour. I only wish that Franklin D. Roosevelt had lived to witness this day. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. For this victory, we join in offering our thanks to the providence which has guided and sustained us through the dark days of adversity. Our rejoicing is sobered and subdued by a supreme consciousness of the terrible price we have paid to rid the world of Hitler and his evil band. Let us not forget the sorrow and the heartache which today abide in the homes of so many of our neighbors. Neighbors whose most priceless possession has been rendered as a sacrifice to redeem our liberty. We can repay the debt which we owe to our God, to our dead, and to our children only by work, by ceaseless devotion to the responsibilities which lie ahead of us. If I could give you a single watchword for the coming month, that word is work, work, and more work. We must work to finish the war. Our victory is but half won. The West is free, but the East is still in bondage to the treacherous tyranny of the Japanese. From the last Japanese division has surrendered unconditionally, then only will our fighting job be done. The day I shipped out, the number a dozen, upon my return, we're a hundred or so From the coast and from the prairies I bet they keep coming Add one more name From Ontario And carry me home Down the highway of heroes People above With the flags flying low Carry me softly down the highway of heroes True patriot love There was never more I served with distinction No visions of glory I served without question a personal gain Seek no justification It's not part of my story And it offers no comfort To the ones who remain Just carry me home Down the highway of heroes People above But the flag's flying low Vocation. I was called by my nation Without hesitation My answer I gave Now I'm not wondering The things that I might have been A no consolation To the forgotten brain So carry me home Down the highway
the flags flying low Carry me softly Down the highway of heroes True patriot love There was never more Carry me home Down the highway of heroes People I love With their hands out we Canadians came over here to do is virtually finished. The military might of Hitler's Germany is a horror of the past. And in this prolonged and bitter struggle, now crowned with victory, the Army of Canada has played a sterling part. Canadians are entitled to be very proud of their soldiers. I am certainly proud beyond words to count myself one of them. We have reached the time when the great and gallant company which has formed the First Canadian Army is about to dissolve by groups and by units with anticipation and joy in their hearts tempered by the memories of the friends they have lost. The Canadians who have survived will be returning home to Canada. I believe that the future of Canada rests in their hands. It will be a grand future should they be given the opportunity, in peace, to prove and practice the admirable characteristics they have demonstrated in war. <laughs>